Microcosm, macrocosm is a frequently seen idea throughout the history of ideas down through the centuries. It's one of those eternal truths that form a common denominator across religions and philosophies. The idea is expressed in different terms in various different religions and uh, uh, these different terms are uh, because the culture of the time is different and it was expressed in a way that people of that historical period would best understand. But the underlying idea is the same. For example, in the Hindu uh, religion, we see the Brahman-Atman linkage. And this basically means that within each of us is the Atman, which is a divine spark, your highest self. This divine spark is similar in nature to the all-encompassing Brahman, which exists outside and which is the ultimate godhead of the universe. In Christianity, we see mention of the God within. Each religion recognizes that a person has a higher self which is in the nature of the divine and the purpose of living by some accounts is to learn to awaken that higher self and live your life in daily awareness of it identifying with the larger sort of reality beyond but this idea that um, the inner you is really a scaled down but perfectly formed copy of the outer universe uh, goes all the way back to classical Greek times. It can be incredibly liberating, if not empowering, to realize that everything that exists in the universe also exists within you. Any knowledge you have of the outer world comes in via the corresponding component of your microcosm. That's how you know it, because it exists outside, it also exists inside. The ancient Greeks uh, believed that only by knowing this microcosm can a person know the macrocosm. It doesn't happen any other way. A person can't know the macrocosm directly. They can only know it via the microcosm. And your inner self, then, uh, if, if you understand your inner self, you can generalize that to the outer world. The Greeks summed it up as, Know thyself, as, in, as was inscribed above the door in the forecourt of the Temple of Apollo in Delphi. Apollo, uh, the oracle, was basically uh, able to answer questions, and its advice was inevitably... Look within for the answers. You already have the answers. You just need to find them within. Great artists, philosophers, scientists, people whose ideas have changed the world, these folks have all found a way to know their mi microcosm and to recognize this as the wellspring of their creativity. They listen to their intuition to bring their insights into the outer world. So these highly creative people, they go beyond the mundane reality of the world we live in and experience the, well, the, the wonderment of a higher reality. Then they bring some of what they experience back to the mundane world and share it with the rest of us. This is a little piece of heaven, as the saying goes. Uh, and this is why people love it so much. A great artist is recognized as great because of the inherent divinity or transcendence of their art, what they have created. Creative people uh, 
go between the world of form that we all live in, the mundane world, and the primary reality of their inner self, their microcosm. Perhaps it would be more accurate to say that they interpret higher reality into terms that are that is comprehensible to people whose primary reality is still in the outside world of form. <laughs>